Cesar Sandoval's tragic and mysterious death devastated his family last October. They say dealing with the loss of a loved one is challenging, especially when it's so unexpected. They'll just tell us, like, we're still working on it, and just to be patient. So that's what we, that's what we bring to the family, patience and just have faith that one day, hopefully, we'll get some answers. Cesar Sandoval died on October 6th of 2023, and seven months later, his family is still waiting for information. It's been a nightmare. It keeps me up at night. We talk about it a lot. We feel lost, confused, not really sure when we're going to get answers. The only details they have are from police who say the incident occurred at the intersection of 10th Avenue and Homedale Road at around 1 a.m. I think it's the best word that we can find to describe what we're dealing with as an incident because we don't have the answer. His siblings say those missing facts makes the grief process more difficult. We're going to lose people in our family. We're going to bury each other. That's part of life, but this is so different. As they wait and pray for answers, they say they'll keep talking about him. We don't want him to be forgotten. The family has dedicated a basketball game to Caesar and created a scholarship to honor their brother. He was the heartbeat of our family. Everybody would get together where he was. He was loud, the loudest guy in the room, but the softest guy with his people that he loved. They hope someone will come forward and bring closure. My brother can't speak anymore. We have to be his voice, not just our family, the investigators, the community, anybody that's seen anything. If you have any information about the incident, you're asked to contact the Canyon County Sheriff's Office. We have the number right here on the screen for you. In studio, I'm Savannah Hankard reporting.